Hello, welcome to Healthy Eyes Hub. In our previous video, we talked about how glaucoma is diagnosed. Today's video will focus on what happens next after one is diagnosed with glaucoma. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Also press the notification button to receive more updates when new learning materials are uploaded. Let's begin. When glaucoma is picked up during an eye test, you should be referred to an eye specialist doctor, that is an ophthalmologist, for further tests. They will confirm your diagnosis and find out how far the condition has developed, how much damage glaucoma has done to your eyes, and what may have caused the glaucoma. They will then be able to advise on a treatment regimen specific to your situation. There are several different treatments for glaucoma, including eye drops, laser treatment, and surgery. The best treatment for you will depend on your circumstances. Glaucoma treatment cannot reverse any loss of vision that has already occurred, but it will help stop or slow the progression of your vision getting worse. Your treatment will largely depend on what type of glaucoma you have. For example, the most common type, primary open angle glaucoma, is usually treated with eye drops. Laser treatment or surgery may be an option if eye drops are not effective. Laser treatment may be recommended if eye drops do not improve your symptoms. This is where a high energy beam of light is carefully aimed at parts of your eye to stop fluid building up inside it. Laser treatment is usually carried out while you're awake. Local anesthetic drops are used to numb your eyes, yet you may feel a brief twinge of pain or heat during the procedure. You may still need to use eye drops after having laser treatment. Surgery may be recommended in rare cases where treatments with eye drops or laser treatment have not been effective. The most common type of surgery for glaucoma is called trabeculectomy. It involves creating a new pathway in the eyes to allow fluid to drain more easily. Glaucoma surgery may be carried out under local anesthesia while you're awake or general anesthesia while you're asleep. Most people will not need to use eye drops anymore after trabeculectomy and you should not be in a lot of pain after surgery. Your eye doctor should discuss which type of surgery they recommend as well as any risks and benefits before you decide whether to go ahead with the procedure. In some cases, your ophthalmologist will continue to treat you. But for less serious types of glaucoma, you may be referred back to your local eye care provider. Remember that glaucoma is a lifelong condition. Hence, you will be advised to attend regular follow-up appointments to monitor your eyes and check that treatment is working for the rest of your lifespan. It is important that you do not miss any of these appointments, even when you feel your eyes are okay or told your eye pressures are within normal. It appears so because of compliance to follow-ups and treatment regimen. So take your appointments and glaucoma eye drops seriously. In our next video, we will discuss about the importance of eye drops in glaucoma treatment. Please like, share, subscribe and press the notification button for more updates. Thank you.